Hello, welcome back to my farmhouse sewing room. For those of you that haven't been to my channel before, my name is Marne. I am a farmer's daughter and I'm also the creator of Broken Wing Bag and Baggage. I am also the proud new owner of Country Farmhouse Quilting coming soon in June. I am just still awaiting um, my new Gamble quilting machine. Um, I haven't gotten a specific date on it yet, but um, be coming soon. So anybody that's been watching my channel um, know that I've been working on this um, on the farm quilt because I'm wanting to create some quilt tops to practice on with my new Gamble quilting machine that's going to be coming soon. So I've been working on this quilt for several weeks, um, the quilt top. Jim just put this awesome uh, bar up here for me so I could display the quilt instead of showing it on the floor like I normally do. I'm constantly progressing in my room and trying to make it better. So um, this is what I've gotten done so far. The whole top is just about done. Uh, I think I left off the last time when I had the panels done and the corn and tomatoes block. Um, I just finished up this one uh, right after Mother's Day. I was just working on the, the crows blocks here and these came out of the Lori Holt uh, books. I don't know, I've, I've showed in my last videos these Farm Girl Vintage and I have the Farm Girl Vintage too and I also have the Spelling Bee books. These have some awesome patterns in them and you don't really have, I mean, she, she the concept is here. I have taken some of her, her patterns that she has in this book and I've kind of modified some of mine with you know the colors or whatever you don't have to be a copycatter or a cookie cutter I am definitely not cookie cutter I like to put my own spin on things but I really love those books and I really got into um making some fun things out of it <laughs> and I've got plenty more to show but anyway I got these blocks done and I made the crow and I started off doing these uh little crop blocks I did the, the crow in a six inch block because you can do a six or a 12. So I did the six because I wanted to add in um, some of these six inch blocks of what she would call the um, crops block. So I started it off with um, this, this colored, um, like the scrappy thing. But when I put it with the crow, I just did not, did not like it. So <laughs> I saved it and I ripped it out and I did this fun little light green and dark green green to make it more look like um, growing crops. So I did it on both sides. I framed out the on the farm in this background fabric, which is really nice. It's almost like a little star, like, I don't know, starfish kind of print, but it kind of goes with the brown blocks that I've done. So I needed a, a nice neutral color. Um, I did these milk can blocks next. I did two of those. These were awesome. These were in the Lori Holt books and um, they were a 12 inch block or you could do a six inch block. I did the 12 inch block, but I modified it. I added it onto a full can, which I'm gonna lower this down so I can show you what I've done with these. As you can see, I've kind of made them into almost like a 24 inch and I did them all in one color. Hers were done in like um, scrappy blocks and stuff, which was really cool. And I even did one in a sample, which I can show you. This one here, this here is would be like a 12 inch block that she has in the book, which is really fun when you do it with squares, but I kind of wanted to modify mine for this quilt. So I did a full one, a, you know, a double one and did it all in one color. And then I, I thought it needs something or color. I don't know. So I decided to put this little um, muslin piece on here and I took fabrics from other fabrics and fussy cutted them out like the milk and the milk stamp and the cow where it says dairy farm artesian produce which I thought would give my milk cans a really cool label. So on the opposite one, I put a label on it and I did um, Life is Better on the Farm tractor and some um, milk can or milk appliques from another fabric too, just to make it fun and make it look like it has a label. And then I don't know if I pointed out in my last video about my corn, which you can't see on the bottom here. The corn and tomatoes down here, um, I didn't show the details on the corn, I had a little scrap of this um, corn fabric and it's actual corn kernels, which is really fun for the corn and tomatoes black. And then the tomatoes are nice and red. And the cutoffs from these stars that I did here up here at the top, sorry, I have to move you around a little bit. <laughs> I can't explain what I'm doing. But um, I did these awesome stars and these were in the Lori Holt book as well. 
These were called a water wheel star and I did it in a nice orange polka dot with a yellow and, and it has like a purplish color in it and then the yellow and this purple. So the purple that I cut off from the backs, I made pinwheels on the bottom and I incorporated them in my quilt. And all of the other cutoffs from like different pieces, I kind of saved them because I'm thinking I, um, I sewed all the cutoffs together and I made these neat little designs on these little um, rows of fabric. I have two of these and I still have a few more. And I'm thinking um, I'm gonna need one more border around this quilt. This is just the quilt blocks that I've sewed together. I still wanna border it with um, the background fabric and then I might do another darker border around it, maybe in a, I'm thinking a red, I don't know. I could go with purple off to see what I have. But um, I thought it would be really fun to take these little cutoffs and really what I did was sew them together and then I just squared them up into three inches and just made a fun little design and I might incorporate this in my border because the colors all match. And this is just really a fun, fun quilt that I've put together with the barn and the animal selfies and, and the tractor and the corn and tomatoes, milk cans, the stars and the crows and crops. I really love it and I think it would be a really fun gift to give somebody, you know, maybe for Christmas. I don't know. I'm just having fun with this. Is it perfect? No. <laughs> but did I have fun with it? Absolutely. This was just the most fun thing to put together and it was exciting and I didn't have any plan for it. I didn't know where I was going, but I just jumped into these books. These Lori Holt books um, are great and I would really like to do some, maybe some tutorials and you know, a couple fun blocks and how really easy this stuff is because really all it is is you're taking, you know, squares and layering them onto other squares or rectangles and you're sewing diagonally and you're flipping it over and cutting the excess off on the back to make these simple shapes. It's it's really not rocket science. I mean, if I can do it, anybody can do it. I'm, I'm not a good pattern reader, but her books make it so um, easy to, to walk through it. It's just really simple. So I really, really love her books. So I'm going to try to get this book finished up or this quilt finished up, <laughs> not the book. Um, I did add a few more flower appliques on here because I didn't like how the blue was peeking through the background, but I, I think I really love it. And this is going to be a really fun quilt when I get it on my, um, quilting machine when it comes. I do have some other quilts. I've got several quilts that I need to have quilted and, but they need borders on them. So, um, I'll give you a sample, but I think I'm going to, in my next video, maybe I'll walk you through on some of the quilt tops that I already have done. This is one that I did a while ago, and this is a very girly quilt girly quilt and it'll probably be mine because I really love it but it's these little um blocks with dresses and I just did matching scrappy blocks that matched and on the clothesline of the dresses there's these little birds and I've gotten this awesome fabric that I picked up I don't know where I picked this up but it has the matching birds to this fabric and I'm going to border that quilt top with this um fabric but um my next video I will try to go through and do um a show and tell now that I have this wonderful hanger that I can show, you know, my work to everybody instead of laying it on the floor like I've been. I have a huge room in here, so um, this is really nice. Jim put this up for me last night. He's an amazing man. I am a lucky woman to have such a such a good future husband <laughs> that, he, you know, he's just amazing. I mean, we went to Home Depot last night and we found this awesome rod. And it's actually um, like a curtain rod that you mount. And we've got these little rings that we put on here and they have these little clippies on them which which are great so they can kind of show you i don't know if any of y'all are interested if you want to display a quilt these are really cool and i think you know i mean this is just the top and it's not really heavy but i think if you used a lot of these you could really hang a quilt up to really show so um yeah, I feel like Jenny Doan, you know, from uh, Missouri Star Quilt Company, you know, let me show you this quilt behind me. <laughs> so it's just really fun, you know, and it makes a nice, great way to um, display your quilts. And Jenny Doan, if you ever watch, you are one of my heroes because I just love you. So um, if you, any of you don't know Jenny, who Jenny is, check out Missouri Star Quilt Company. I'm an addict for their videos. I am a huge YouTube uh, watcher. I watch everything. Um, my favorites are Jordan Fabrics, Lori Holt, um, Missouri Star Quilt Company, um, my sewing room. I, I mean, she's she makes things really simple because my mom likes to do her table runners. So it's just a really um, cool thing to watch some of those. Uh, good teachers they are. Um, so my next conquest, I think out of um, Lori Holt's books, um, 
is this awesome little uh, truck, which I don't know if I can show you. And it has a little girl in there and all these little flowers. And I'm like, oh, that would be so cool. But um, the cutting up directions, it's a lot. So this would take some time to, um, to do something like that. But I thought I want to do this truck and I want to do it in a red truck. And I know red trucks, you know, you see red trucks all the time, but mine's going to be a little different. I want to do my truck in red velvet. And then I want to do like the fenders and the running rail and maybe just a cotton red. And I've got this light fabric for my background. So I think that's going to be really fun and challenging because I love a good challenge. So, um... I think that's about it today. I'm going to make this one short and sweet. I just want to show you what I've got done with the on the farm quilt. It is exciting. It's beautiful. And my next step is to get it bordered with another round of uh, background fabric, as I said, and then border it with something colorful. And then it will be ready for the quilting machine when it comes. And when it gets done, it will really be super amazing. And I can't wait to show you all that one when it is finished. But I do have a lot of other things um, to show you the um, quilts that I've made. I think I have like, I'm gonna say five or six quilt tops, but they all need to be um, bordered with something. So I need to work on them. I have a lot of unfinished projects, so I have a lot of things that I probably could show and, and maybe hopefully, you know, inspire you or teach you, you know, I mean, any questions, shoot them at me, you know, I mean, I'm all ears and all eyes. So, I mean, I'm always looking for new ideas and I love your comments. So if you like my video and you like the on the farm quilt, please subscribe and um, come back and see what is going on in the farmhouse sewing room because it's always interesting in here. So anyway, I hope to talk to you all soon. Have a great day.